Hello you fellow musicians and gamers out there, this is Quiet Gamer here and I am back yet again with another part or session should I say of Let's Play Crash Tag Team Racing and I, you may have noticed actually when I pause them and pause this, I have a ton of coins and crystals. Now you may be wondering why that is and Crash, stop doing that please while I explain, uh, is because I actually ended up doing quite a few races so I'm just going to show this off. Uh, not just the normal races, but I've been doing other driving games. This is something that I hadn't done uh, in the Let's Play, which I should have done a long time ago, which I don't know why I didn't do it. But regardless, guys, I'm going to show you this right now. So what I did was, in each racing track, I did Crashinator, Rolling Thunder, Fast Lap, and Run and Gun. Now, for Crashinator, I'll show you what this is. What you basically do is, you hit these targets... And you can do this on either normal or faster, but I'm going to, going to do this on normal mode because uh, just to make it a bit easier. So I'm just going to play as Crash. And what you need to do in this game is you need to hit as many targets as you possibly can. And yeah, just trying to speak into this microphone is actually a lot harder than what it is. But hopefully when I turn the, the mic audio up, it'll be a lot louder. It's just uh, leaning against this windowsill and speaking into the microphone while looking at the TV screen will be a bit difficult at the moment. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay, so what you need to do in this is, is these targets here, you need to hit at least, if you can get all these targets, great. But in order for me to get the crystal, I need to get 55 targets under the time limit here. And I may have placed a little bit of myself into a deep end, putting myself onto one of the, uh, the unfamiliar tracks here. As you can see, I ended up missing quite a few of them already, which is not good. So, hopefully I end up... And not missing more than, than what I just missed. So here's open guys. So yeah, this is how I ended up getting the crystals and coins here. I actually ended up inadvertently getting so many coins because I kept losing the challenges and getting the crystal. I, those coins that ended up being carried over into my total coins uh, selection or total coins amount. Uh oh, and I'm about to run out of time here. Okay, great. Uh, and not great actually. No. Oh no. No. Oh god, no, 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 I've, I've failed this. Damn it. I was one away from getting that crystal. I'm doing it again. I am definitely doing this again, guys. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Take two. So yes, this is uh, basically what you need to do. You just need to uh, hit these targets. I mean, well, like I said, you hit the targets. And uh, you get the, uh, the crystal afterwards. That's what you do to get the... Oh my god. It doesn't help as well, right, when you're jumping over that and yet your steering doesn't go according to plan. Oh, and I got all three of them. Excellent. I remember missing those three the first time I did that. And it sounds like I'm talking as if I'm cutting the first attempt, but I'm not doing that because I explained uh, what exactly what I did to get the crystals and the the, the coins. But I'm just going to show off the racing modes uh, on this track here on what I did. And after I've done that... I'm going to get the the power gem from this uh, from this world, and then I'm going to collect the rest of the, the vehicles that the characters um, have uh, acquired. So as long as I get 55, then that's fine. So oh, one more. Can I get this last one? Yes, just barely skimmed it there. I just barely got that there. Right. Okay. Let's continue now, and I'm going to move on to the next racing mode, guys. Now. I have, I do realise that my previous part that I did for this, I know I did a session for this, but I decided not to bother uploading those parts because I thought it was quite boring. So, I decided why not start fresh again, and we'll do, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, my, you could probably hear my voice was kind of shaking a bit, it's because I still got a bit of a cough uh, from the cold, summer cold that I've had. Okay, so Rolling Thunder is the next one, and for this one, I'm going to select Engine. And I'm pretty sure for this one, you just need to destroy all of the, the cars that are coming towards you. Destroy a certain amount of cars. And Engine is the best person to use for this because he's got the, the rocket launcher, which is, well, the most powerful weapon in this game. So here's hoping it'll uh, come to good, uh, good use. So yeah, I mean, like, I know I, I probably should have recorded this when doing it, but I decided, you know what, I can't be bothered recording this. So I'm going to just... Uh, like this is why like I said like I said before I'm just gonna show you exactly what I did to get all the crystals and and uh, the coins in the past and yes and this is quite loud in my headphones already but 
At least I'm not using the headset mic. That's the one thing. Because uh, I'm using my Blue Snowball mic as I, I used in my some of my previous videos. And I'm half, halfway there already. And I'm not even like a, halfway through the track. And just so you know guys as well, speaking of Crash Bandicoot, I actually did see uh, from Gamescom that there's there was new Crash Bandicoot uh, Skylanders footage. And I know I said before that I wasn't interested in the Skylanders uh, Crash Bandicoot edition, but I found out that Vicarious Visions developed a Crash Bandicoot level exclusively uh, for Skylanders. And honestly guys, it looked really good. And especially like you could play as Dr. Neo Cortex in there as well. And they've gone back to his original design from... Oh, and I got a new record for that as well. I didn't even notice. I was too busy talking about the Skylanders edition of uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot. So let's carry on. So yeah, that that was really good on, on, on seeing that that video there on YouTube. If you haven't seen it yet, guys, I'll link a video in the description below if you want to see what the Crash Bandicoot Skylanders footage looks like. But if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you've seen it already. But if not, I'll link a video down in the description just in case if you haven't seen it. But one thing that really uh, caught my attention when watching the... Okay, so I'm going to play this on faster. This, so this is fast lap. So, and this pretty much uh, explains itself. You get the fastest lap possible. And I'm going to do this on uh, faster because uh, this will be a lot quicker and a lot easier, I feel, when playing this on uh, faster mode. So hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm not leaning against the windowsill here. Just to make sure that, like, the... Is, well, actually, I kind of am leaning against the windowsill again. Just to make sure that I'm speaking directly into the microphone right now. Okay, so here we go. What I basically need to do here is get the fastest lap, which is 48 seconds according to this. So here's hoping I can do it, guys. Wish me luck. But I'm sure I can do this. Considering that I'm in the, the Crash's uh, fastest car here, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It may be his basic model, but that still doesn't mean that it's not fast. And, yeah, just comment more about the Skylanders Crash Bandicoot footage. I read a blog post by uh, one of the, the head guys in Vicarious Visions and he said that the music that they used for this uh, they were particularly heavily inspired by the original Crash Bandicoot soundtrack which is no surprise to me and they actually ended up using uh, a plot device for the music which is basically and I'm not going to make this aren't I no right okay that's fine okay it's no problem right I'll, what I'll do guys is that I'll do this on a different track because obviously that one was a bit difficult so I'll try this on a much more easier track just to show, uh, just to get another crystal here. So perhaps that was a bit too hard. So I'll do this on this much more easier track. So carrying on with the with my my thoughts on the Crash Bandicoot Skylanders edition. It's good that they've used that in an actual plot device, which honestly I I was really happy that they used that in the plot device because me being very musical and me wanting to have music as a future career I was very very happy that Vicarious Visions did something like this and it's made me think that it's made me have really high hopes for the remix that Vicarious Visions are making right now and also I was wondering if they would do something about a Crash Team Racing remake and uh, Vicarious Visions said in response they actually had a response to this and they said that Crash Team Racing, while it's one of the our favorite game, uh, many uh, fans' favorite games, including ours as well, because we have it on our minds constantly in the office. It's not getting a remake at this moment in time, but you never know. Uh, we're going to keep it in mind. So at the moment, it's not happening, but it could very well happen in the future. So not all hope is lost, guys. So Vicarious Visions may end up doing a remake for Crash Team Racing in the future, but. Like I said, though, I'm, I'm still very happy uh, about the remakes that they're doing for, well, Crash Bandicoot 1 to 3. I can't wait to see a trailer of that coming up. And I'm expecting that to happen at, at PlayStation Experience uh, at the end of the year. That's when I think the trailer will be released. There's many different things I saw for Gamescom, actually. For instance, like, uh, oh, no, not like to do that shortcut. That kind of sucks. That being said, they probably want me to do this legitimately, so no shortcuts allowed. Okay, fair enough. No shortcuts. Just go to do this legitimately. And I'm pretty sure I will, because I mean I've got at least 20 seconds left to do this, and I'm sure I'll be able to make this. Because the finish line should be just around the corner. Yep, I've got this in the bag. And we are done. And that was a pretty easy crystal to collect. That's just an example. I'm not gonna do every single one of these. Every single one of these fast lap tracks, unless if I absolutely have to. 
unless if I'm doing it for 100%, then yes, I will do every single one of them, but no, like I, like I said at the beginning of my Let's Play, I'm not doing 100%. So, there's many, like, uh, different stuff I saw of a Gamescom which really excited me. For instance, like, uh, what's the next one? Or oh, the last one, Run and Gun. Now, for this one, uh, I'm just going to go into Dead Heat. Or, no, actually, no, I'm going to go into a different one. Change up a bit. We'll go into Fossil Fuel Injection. That's the one we're we'll going to next. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to proceed to the game. Now, you may know... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. This is what I was talking about. Like, there's something that feels like it's tickling my throat every time I talk. I just hate that kind of feeling you have, like, after you've had a cold. It's, uh, that's just, uh, I hate that kind of feeling when that happens. Now, you may have noticed, uh, as I was about to say, um, that there's no character you select. Guess who you play as here? That's right. Oh, oh, okay, right. Right? This is completely unexpected. I was expecting Crunch. Because every time I went to this, I always played as Crunch. But I'm playing as Coco. That's kind of interesting. So... Okay, right, I actually did not know this guy, so that you could actually play as Coco on, on certain tracks. I thought it would have been easier to play as Crunch, but the game decided to give me Coco, so... Fair enough. Pasadena, you're be you're terrible at driving. How dare you run over that word drone? I need to get out of this vehicle right now. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, uh... The other stuff I saw at Gamescom, I saw a new trailer for Resident Evil 7, and I'm particularly excited about that game coming out because it looks like it's going to be a pretty terrifying game. It, it looks like it's on the, the same thrilling edge as PT, but it, it, it does look very scary. It's one of the scariest games I've seen actually in a while, so I'm looking forward to playing that when it comes out on uh, January 24th, 2017. I don't know if I'm going to buy the game when it gets released, and uh, yeah, okay, I didn't succeed. Right, fair enough. Right, I'm going to select uh, a different track, uh, an easier one. Just to show off the the run and gun. Particularly one where I'll play as Crunch. Hopefully, I'm, I'll probably need to play one of the, uh, I think, what was it? The Mystery Caves track, is, I, th I think, uh, is the one I've got to play. We'll see if I've got the crystal for that. Hopefully I do. Or hopefully I don't, should I say. Right, good. There's one track I haven't played yet with Run and Gun. So, Deep Sea Driving. Let's do this one. So, that that trailer that I had seen for Resident Evil 7 was pretty scary. And I also saw a trailer as well on YouTube for... Now, you may have noticed, guys, like when I did my update video, I uploaded footage of uh, Motor Racer 2. Now, the reason why I did that is because, and I think I explained in my update video, is because now this is where he plays Crunch. So, you probably play as different characters and a different theme different themes, or in the different worlds, but Motor Racer 4 is coming out, and I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm definitely going to have to turn that gameplay down in order for you to hear me, because uh, Crunch's machine gun is very loud. <laughs> and you think that's funny, Crunch, the, the, people, the audience won't hear what I say because you're a loud machine gun. Anyhow. So yeah, Motor Racer 4, I'm looking forward to that because Motor Racer was one of my favourite uh, childhood games on the, the PS1. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, or playing it again on the PS4 with, uh, for Motor Racer 4. It's going to be a completely new game. Although that being said though, I'm hoping that they perhaps might have remastered or remade uh, some tracks from the previous Motor Racer games and put them onto Motor Racer 4. I'm not getting my hopes up too high for that, but we'll see if they do do that. Can I actually get all these targets? Let's see if I can hit all these targets. Oh, 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 I just barely got it. I got all 36 of them. Just at the very last second. I'm quite pleased with that. So that's it. That's the run and gun minigame there. And that's how I got all the crystals and coins as you probably see. Well, you'll, you'll see when I come out of the loading screen. And... Let me just... Uh, when it gets old. Yeah, there we go. So I got 28 crystals and 23,000 coins. I have got more than enough of what I need to satisfy everybody in that midway. So, I'm just going to avoid you Ninja Penguins for now. I'm just going to let you do your own business while I do mine. I am going to unlock the... Uh, I'm going to unlock that, that gem path. And I can pull it in. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't, Ninja Penguins. I know you're trying to attack- Oh, oh, okay, one of them was uh, completely glitching out there. 
You tried to do a new move on me, Ninja Penguins? Is that what your new move now? Glitching? I'm just going to spin them because honestly, I, I just cannot be bothered uh, body slamming them. I'm just going to spin them. I know I don't get that much coins out of them, but still. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> he saw the Ninja Penguin. He's constantly shaking. He's like, oh no. He's spinning out of control. I don't want to go up against him. You're going to have to. You're Ninja Penguins for a reason. Come on, take me on. Do it. Alright, so. Uh, where was the jump pad for this again? I forgot. Where was it again? Oh, I'll need to find it. Hmm. While I do a bit of exploration, I might as well talk maybe a bit more about Gamescom and uh, the PlayStation and everything. Since I am a part of the PlayStation Nation, well, I, I know that's not officially what the uh, the fan base is called, but it still rhymes anyway. The PlayStation Nation, I know it sounds kind of lame, but still, it, it rhymes and it sounds kind of catchy anyway. That the PlayStation 4K is being revealed in September, which I am looking forward to. Originally, they were supposed to be revealing this at E3, but because Microsoft had unveiled two beastly consoles, the Xbox One Slim and the Xbox One Scorpio, which had, like, monstrous uh, capacities. So let's see what this consists of. Right, yes, I'll spend 15 power crystals. Right, let's go and view this cutscene. Oh, and I climb up the ladder here. Let's view this cutscene. And here we go. Well, you certainly dropped a nose full there, didn't you? Didn't you, statue? Whoa, what? Wait, did you see that? Did you see... Oh, okay, right, right. I thought a coin was glitching in the air for a second, but I think that was the message saying, yep, all the coins and everything has been reset. Good. So I, that way now, when I attack these uh, ninja pit... Oh, they're not here. Oh, that's a shame. At least I got the, the crates, though, to keep me occupied. And get more coins. Oh, I've got with you. I'll get your coins, since I'm on times two. With a uh, Wumpa Whip. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, since I am on the uh, times two, and I forgot, I would actually... Ah. Okay, right, there we go. And I uh, get all these coins I can in all the last second. So, 23,000 coins. And 13 crystals. That should definitely be more than enough of what I need. Actually, since I've got a lot of coins already, I'm actually going to see if I can find a worker drone that's actually selling a crystal. Maybe I can buy one, just in case. Actually... Do I need to do that? No, I don't think I need to do that. Okay, so let's see. Let's take all these ninja penguins here and just try and get more, more coins as possible. Okay, so let's see here. What have we got? Alright, you know what? I'm going to buy one off of you. How much are you selling one for? I think you're selling one for a thousand coins, aren't you? Right, I'll just buy this. Oh, sweet indeed. And, and no, I'm not talking about the, the, the blue crystal that's used on Breaking Bad. No, no, I'm not I'm not talking about that at all. No, definitely not. That's not sweet at all. <laughs> nah. Nah, like, I'm just kidding, guys. Like, I mean, if you've... Uh, a little bit of a known fact. I mean, like, if you've seen Breaking Bad or if you've not seen Breaking Bad... Or if you've not seen Breaking Bad... I suggest you, I highly suggest you go and watch it because it's one of the best uh, TV shows I've seen. I mean, it's a, it's a very good drama. It's a very good drama, that's all I can say about it. Hey, I think I'm beginning to deduce what's going on around here. What is it? Well, the pattern I've concluded from deductive reasoning is that whoever stole the power gems has some connection to Wumpa Whip. Wumpa Whip? That's affirmative, VC. There's been a trail of Wumpa Whip at the scene of every stolen power gem in the park. That's ridiculous. I mean, who thinks Wumpa Whip anyway? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are dumber than a sack of hammers! It's me! Me! I tell you! 
Don't you get it? Me? Really? My trolley park mascot? Don't get me anymore! I can't hear you! Life is easy, dead and hot and dead. And I would have succeeded, too, if it wasn't for you meddling bandicoots! And now the time is nigh, it's really do or die. This stone in my sack, Bruce Von Klutz is a hack, ah! And you can look for me in the sky! <laughs> so long! A trick! We must stop him! We only have moments left, but I must get my black power gem before I'm just... <laughs> Okay guys, sorry, uh, there was a cutscene there that I had uh...